This is the story of two boys on Christmas Day. It's Christmas! Astronomy by Tim and Dan. Tim Nye, Science Guy, Christmas Special. Hello, I'm Tim Nye, the Science Guy, and uh, for the Christmas Special, our main topic is going to be star cycles. Tim Nye, the Science Guy, Tim Nye, the Science Guy. Tim, 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 Tim Nye, the Science Guy. Hello. Believe it or not, there is two star cycles. We're going to start out with a low mass or medium mass star. Okay, here we go. All stars, small, large, or medium mass, start out as a nebula. A nebula is a large cloud of gas and dust spread out in an immense volume and it is also red. In the densest part of the nebula, gravity pulls gas and dust together, a contracting cloud of gas and dust with enough mass to form a star is called a protostar. A protostar is not yet a star because nuclear fusion has not yet occurred. Okay, as a protostar gets denser and denser, nuclear fusion begins to occur in the core. That is what makes a protostar into a star. Well there. The next step in the cycle is a giant, a red giant. And imagine this is a star here. As it starts to run out of fuel, it will expand into a giant. As a red giant completely runs out of a few, its fuel, it will keep expanding into a planetary nebula. It will have one point of light in the middle, which will, is the core of the leftover star. And then it will have gas and dust all around it. The planetary nebula will eventually expand until the gas and dust is no longer held by the gravity. And the only thing left is the core of the old star, which is a white dwarf. Okay. The white dwarf will eventually run out of fuel and become a black dwarf. And that is the last stage in the low mass star cycle. Now a word from our sponsor. It's peanut butter jelly with peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with snow in a can. If it's not in a can, it's snow good. Only a dollar twenty-five at Walmart. Hey, I'm Rob. I am Tim Nye's helper today. He got in a car accident, so I'm kind of here. Um, uh, we're going to talk about the high mass star life cycle. So, it basically, a high mass life cycle starts out just like a low mass or medium mass star. It starts with a nebula. Then it condenses to form a protostar. A protostar has a star in nuclear fusion, so it's not technically a star. Once it has stars in nuclear fusion, it is a star. Okay. This is my star, okay? Star. Now, once he runs out of fuel, he gets larger. And he becomes a supergiant. Alright, so when a supergiant runs out of fuel, it suddenly explodes into a supernova. A supernova is the explosion in the star becomes a million times brighter. All right, after a supergiant explodes or becomes a supernova, the excess material uh, becomes dense and forms a neutron star. A neutron star is even more dense than a white dwarf. This is one of the ways the, uh, a high mass star cycle can end. We couldn't really show you what a black hole was, so we just left it black. A black hole is an object that has so much gravity that it even sucks in light. This is the second way the high mass star's life cycle can end.
It's Christmas! Ooh. Your shirt's inside out. Yeah, I know.